Gods TV and I'm here with Ben and Tim. Alright, um, first of all, how are you? you? Looking forward to the tour? Yeah, yeah always. Looked up for it, yeah. yeah, I've been yeah. waiting for it for a while. Um, it's two weeks on the road with two other British metal blade bands, so yeah, it's going to be brilliant. Yeah. It's be how has the um, sort of latest album been received? Has it been positive reaction? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's a Obviously, you're always going to get a couple of the uh, old school fans that dismiss it a bit before they even hear it. But um, no, it's been really well received. Um, the press has been brilliant, hasn't it? The yeah, press really, has been really good. Right, yeah. across the board, just great reviews, great reviews for the live shows, great reviews for the album. Yeah, cool. Good. Um, I take it, are you guys sort of pleased with the results, or there's nothing you go back in the studio and say maybe we do that a bit differently? Or you're always going to get that, especially yeah. a few years later. I mean, that's the problem. Is um, like, you know, several months after you record an album, you're always going to find um, points where you could improve on it. But, you know, It'd be cool as well. We were like, the only thing with hindsight was more time to write. Because the whole thing about the writing was done so fucking quick. It was like, January, the good writing splits up. February, we start a new band. March, we go to the studio. So everything was done yeah. in like six to eight weeks. So maybe given a year or something, we would yeah. have more fun. We'd be where we're at now. If we were holding an album now, we would be able to work yeah. Um, what's been the coolest moment in your guys' career so far? So, that's all. Since we started doing music? Yeah, yeah so sort of any bands that you've um, shared the stage with or anything that you've achieved. Whacking was fucking, it was good to do Whacking, the year that made a headline. Um, yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good thing to have on your musical CV. Bands you played with, blah 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 Yeah, that's always a... Yeah, you know, I mean, we do, we, we're lucky because we do get to play with quite, you know, a lot of bands that we're proper yeah. into, like, you know, Celtic Frost. Mm -hmm. Cable Corpse, Napalm Dead, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, has anything happened to you guys on the road or at shows or sort of stay to the grave? Any very memorable, bad or good moments? Uh, Where to start? How long have <laughs> we got? How long have we got? Plenty, man. No, plenty. It's, it sounds really shit. They're things you can't tell people because otherwise you just sound like you're in bad news. You go, hey, when hear this crazy thing happened to me once, I dropped loads of lava and I fell over. So it just sounds so fucking lame, but yeah, there's a lot. There's yeah, a lot. There's, 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 been a lot. Lot. there's been a lot of, you know, sort of troubles over the years that we've <laughs> got ourselves into. Been a few arrests, yeah. a few... Uh, we've known from some. Yeah. Um, on this tour, is there any places you guys are particularly looking forward to going to or seeing? Ireland for me. Yeah, yeah always. Yeah. Dublin. We've, we've only played a few times, me and Tim, in our old band. Um, but always a fucking it's great time. Really fun. Yeah. It's just It's like being in laid-back Europe with the benefit of everyone speaking English. So it's yeah. just like, cool, just everyone's chilled, you know, it's cool, there's no yeah. getting kicked out of venues at 10 pm to let nightclubs in and shit like that, and it's good. Yeah, well, it's a nice place. Um, if you guys could do one show with any band, dead or alive, who would it be? Is dead or alive in the list? <laughs> yeah, dead or alive. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with dead or alive. Yeah, well, so why is that? Is that sort of. The, was that weird fellow that was in Big Brother yeah, and the other boy? Yeah, they like it. We're down with him, Solidarity, he got arrested for just wearing a Solidarity. Yeah. Uh, what are you going up to for the rest of the year after this tour? Well, what year, what is it? April? April. Yeah, no. um, we've got a few more, we've got UK Death Fest coming up. Uh, we're doing Hammerfest um, at the end of this month. Oh, so we might see you there. With the Sweet, man. Yeah, that's, that should be a good laugh. Yeah, so good, fans, good fans in the build there. Um, we're doing that new Damnation. We're doing the new Death Fest and the guys from Damnation are running. Alright, oh, cool. Uh, a load of other club shows and we're writing for album two as well. Alright, um, what about your set list as well? Is that going to be sort of a play the album sort of track by track or what are you guys going to sort of do to sort of set tonight? We mix it up, we're doing a couple of old tracks um, with some of the, you know, we're trying to lay them to rest really, we're just sort of coming to an end with that, yeah. we're, we're playing some of the old ones for the old, mm -hmm. just sort of slowly. Yeah, well we're hoping this will be the last kind of tour where we do the old material because it's even more of a new band now with like another new bass player since so like did that band is gone. Yeah. So let's do one more tour where we do greatest hits from each album mm -hmm. plus the new album plus yeah. covers. Mix it up every night so it's never you can't just see two shows and it won't be the same thing two shows in a row. Yeah. And then next kind of time you start to see us do a headline tour, we'll probably have some new songs under our belt and there'll be a new album on the yeah. way. And it's kind of the end of one era and start, start a new yeah. point. And, and when we're doing stuff like Hammerfest, it's going to be short little support yeah. slots, so it'll be new material only. Yeah. So this is a chance for us to play for an hour a night yeah. and play some old stuff that people mm. haven't heard for a, a year or two. Uh, what's your guys' favourite thing about the UK? 
if there right. is a favourite thing. Um, it's you know, it's got its negative it's points. Drunk, <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, as far as there is a lot of negativity about yeah. the UK, of course, but it's fairly free. I think. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that pisses me off about it. Um, I, I had to leave London because of you know I had a few, well, amongst other things, like a couple of legal troubles in it. Um, but um, it's relatively free, and you can pretty much say and do what you want within reason without getting beaten up by the right side. And, um, how long were you guys sort of writing and recording the last album? How long was that process? Yeah, it was like six weeks. Really fucking quick. It was like old members went, new members came, we were like, right, right. So we just got in the studio, spent a few weekends doing it, and we were like, right, we're a new we band had, now. Yeah, we had the bare bones of like half the album. I mean, real bare bones, like you know, an intro, a cool yeah. verse after. Yeah, that sounds good. It's just like tapes, you know, hours of fucking riff yeah. tapes. And then when we actually got the lineup together to do the album, it was like six weeks, a solid bank in the studio. Yeah. Cool. And um, what were your main inspirations for the album? Is there anything, films, bands, songs that you can hear in any of the songs? Is it? I think it was just it was trying to get it done and just fucking get it out there. I yeah. mean, we had a lot on our minds. We we're pissed off. We had a lot to say. Um, and it just, I think the aggression has just come through with that. You know, the it's anger, the aggression, the blood, sweat, and tears, it's all come through. There's yeah. a lot of London claustrophobia on the album, and there's a lot of kind of the angst of living in a city which feels like it's going <coughs> down on top of you. Yeah. It's dirt, shit, and grime, and filth. And that can really uh, come across in the music. Uh, front of the all right, um, cool. And lastly, what was the sort of best venue you've ever played? Got like a favourite venue that you could go back to any time? There was one in a shopping mall in Spain. Really? Where they had this huge bit of fucking glasses, like you know, it was like screens. Yeah. And while we were sound checking, all these little kids were dancing because they were having a kids' party downstairs. <laughs> so look for that on YouTube, you'll find it on there. I'm gonna miss your story, and I did like your story. I fucking hate oh, it. Yeah, it's that that it's I like playing there. It's been it's pulled down, cool. oh, yeah. it's been pulled down now, isn't it? I liked it. Any reason for that, or is it just? I know. You know? I'd like to play Brixton Academy. That's my favourite yeah. UK venue cool to venue. go to. I saw um, the Defenders of the Faith tour. I saw down there. It was like a castle inside, so a lot of the American bands are really infatuated yeah. sort of uh, playing yeah. in a castle. Piece of history, isn't yeah. It? <laughs> yeah, but um, I think guys, cheers. Cheers, Michael, thank you. All the best. Cheers. 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 Cheers.